welcome to beautiful sunny Mendoza, Argentina. I've been here for about two weeks. Uh, unfortunately, I was sick for almost half of that, so I'm just getting out now and starting my vlogging. Now, Mendoza is situated just on the east side of the Andes Mountains, and it creates kind of a desert climate out here. So hot summers, cold winters, a bit dry and dusty, but always sunny, which is nice. So there's not a lot of rain. Mendoza is kind of a medium sized city. Um, but it's very like laid back, not a lot of traffic, easily walkable, all of which I like. And this area here is known for its wine production. So there's a lot of wineries outside of the city. Haven't done that yet, but I'm hoping to get out and see some soon. So desert climate east of the mountains, small to medium sized cities and wine producing region. What does that make you think of? Well, for me, it sounds exactly like Eastern Washington. And that was exactly my first impressions when I arrived here. I said, wow, it feels just like Eastern Washington. Now, if you're watching this and you don't know me that well, um, that's where I went to university. So I spent four years of my life in a climate very much like this. So to me, it kind of feels familiar. It feels like home. So I like it here. I want to stay longer. I think I'm going to stay for about a month and then um, probably not longer than that because for everything I like about Mendoza, it's also like the, the least exotic place I've ever been to. Um, I guess I'd say it's comfortable here, but not very exciting. I think most people come here for the steak, the wine, and the mountains. Um, and the steak is good, and that's about all I can say about the food here. Um, it's a lot of beef, which is fine. I like that. Um, haven't tried too much of the wine yet, but my biggest disappointment so far is that the mountains are very hard to see from the city. Now everybody says like, well, if you just go 10 minutes outside of the city, you can see the mountains better. So I guess that's great if you have a car. But if you're like me and you're just kind of staying in the city, um, it's really hard to enjoy the mountains. So I do plan to get out into the mountains at some point. Can't guarantee it's gonna happen, but that's the plan. Um, but you can't really see them well from the city unless you go to like a rooftop cafe or something. You're paying a premium to do that. Now if you need a taste of nature without going to the mountains, there is a very large park just on the edge of the city. That's where I'm at right now, actually doing this filming. Um, it's a very good sized park with a lot of variety. It's all very artificial and unnatural, but it's still a taste of nature if you want to escape the city vibes. Now, although this is technically a tourist city due to the wine region, um, not a lot of English speaking folks here, which is just something I've noticed. And I don't have any expectation that they should speak English. It's a Spanish speaking country. Um, but I will say, in my personal experience, it's been extremely hard to get anything done here without speaking Spanish. Um, going into pharmacies and markets and restaurants and gyms, it's very rare that I can meet somebody that speaks English. Well, I guess the point I'm trying to make by saying that is that all the places I've been to around the world, different cities and countries, this stands out in my mind as like one of the difficult ones for me to navigate without knowing the local language, which is just kind of surprising. I expected to have an easier time here. So just keep that in mind. If you're planning to come here, you better know Spanish. So one thing I'd like to do while I'm here uh, is try to learn Spanish. I've been looking for classes. I haven't found any beginner's classes yet. Uh, most of the options are all private to uh, private instruction and uh, that's just expensive and um, not what I'm looking for right now. So I'm looking for an actual classroom setting, uh, but can't find it for beginners here. So if I were to summarize my experience so far in Argentina, it'd be that I'm not really impressed by anything yet, uh, but it's not a bad country. And ultimately, it's such a big country, there's a lot more I want to see here, so I'm still very optimistic. Um, and my plan was to kind of learn some base Spanish here, and that would help me as I go on to other cities. And I do want to go further south, uh, but right now it's very cold here, it's winter and I don't have the clothing for it, so I either have to buy winter clothing or wait for the weather to warm up. So I'm not sure how that's gonna play out in the long run, um, but I definitely wanna see more of Argentina. So if anything happens in Mendoza, of course, I'll make a second video about it here. And since I still have like three more weeks, hopefully something interesting happens. Um, but yeah, stand by for the next videos and I will see you later.